Hi, everyone. It's Roche Clan. And yes, finally, Turbo Gaugian Fire, because Temple of Forces is out. And I get to build my Gaugian Fire deck. So we can do 260 with Blaze Blitz. We can actually do 280 or 290 with the Moltreses that uh, amp up the damage by 10 for every base uh for every mulches on in play it does 10 extra to all your basic fire pokemon which is really good so we could do 680 with this or 90 and we could do 280 to 290 with this now if we use gaussian fire and two mulches and a maximum belt we can knock out a chance rdx easily uh we are using anti v so we can draw and attack we can go up to about 250 damage with this anti for two energies so it's really easy to turn one bomb attack if you go in second turn one it's easy uh we are using the squawk i'm using my shiny squawk so we can get that faster get them energies in the discard use magnum basin use asada and you just attack it it's not using roy moon but just it's on fire uh we've got the greninja to discard some fire energy draw some more accelerate it with magda basin and asada and we've got a vacuum some nest balls some switch cards because we need to be able to get the gaussian fire out of the active when we've done its uh blaze blitz uh tricky shoes four magda basins they really really accelerate this deck so quick it's white's turbo three bosses two monty's conviction which is really good to get say we want just discard a fire and we don't want to get rid of our whole hands we don't want to research the whole hand away we could just go discard one fire energy i want to draw five cards brilliant uh you've got the penny as well which is awesome as well so you can get us to pick up a squawk or something that's got stuck in the active uh we've got four uh professor Asa asadas two bravery charms just to bunk our hp up to 280 just above where charizard x can knock us out and it really helps against charizard we've got fossil stone for the nt maximum belt Four jet energies and nine fire energies. This deck is crazy good and crazy fast, and I love it. So, enjoy the next part. See you then. Right, so, raging, gouging, gouging, fire. He's a beast. He's a real beast. He's the king of the jungle. All right. Okay, so we can go this. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. All right. We're going to get rid of this and this. And we're going to get... Ooh, if I could go Squawk here. And I think I will. Like, I want to attach to you first. Then get rid of the Asadas and everything. Okay. Then I can get the Nest Ball. And I can get an Entei. Then I can put the Fossil Stone on there. And then I can go Earthly Vessel this. Get some more energies. Um, and then I will end the turn. So, what is Galgen Fire? Galgen Fire is just um pretty much a Dragonite V, uh, but does ten extra damage. And when it does its main attack, it can't attack again with that attack. Um, but. It is fast. If we went second, probably could have turned two. If I had that same hand, I probably could have gone second. Yes. Probably. If I could have played Sada, uh, I will play Ente. Right. That's Psychic Energy. And it does 20 damage to the bench. Okay. Uh, is this the... Um, 
One that moves damage off your Pokemon and put it onto your active Pokemon, I think. Okay. You've done that. That's fine. Draw an extra. Oh. Piece of candy. Uh, one, two. Uh, I've got no energy in the discard pile. Uh, let's see. I would like from this. Because I've used an Asada. Uh, an Ultra Ball. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I need... What is it? Let's do it now. I need a jet. Right, have I attached for turn? I think I've attached for turn. Drew, agent, attached for turn. Uh, no, I haven't attached for turn. Uh, jet. All right, and then I will find another Moltres. I'm not going to bench uh, Bath uh, Magda Basin, and I'm just going to knock this out. All right, so we just it looks like it's a single prize future box with a few kitty cats. He gave you pushy gets. Ah, it's using that one trade. S -s discard the energy, put it in the discard pile, draw two. Iron fawns. So they must be using the iron fawns destructo press just so they can accelerate energy. Well, discard everything from the hands and stuff. Oh, I like that hand. I had everything I wanted in that hand. Okay. I like that too. Hmm. Right. So you get uh, Leopard. Leopard. Is it Leopard? Leopard? I don't know. But let's see if this cat's bigger than my cat. My cat's the king. Right. So he's one attach away from doing stuff. It's really annoying. Okay. Uh... I can do uh, let's get some energies. If I do a penny, I can bring this back and that gives me the energy, but I can can't discard it then. Um Hmm. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Penny will bring it back. I can check that off and do that. Uh, no, wait, no. Right, uh, I will.
That works. Now, it's depending on how many future Pokemon are on top of his deck. The top five cards, if any are future Pokemon, it multiplies it by 70 for every future Pokemon or future card. Then you discard the future cards and keep the rest and put them on top of your deck. Or you shuffle it into your deck, shuffle them, the others into the deck. This was actually, if you made this deck and you made it work in a future kind of box deck for um, pre-release, it actually did a lot of damage. If you, you know, top drawed it, of course. So, Buddy Buddy Puffin, it's going to be another third cat, really? Okay. So, are you going to do the Distro, Destructo Press? Uh, only one, that's 70. Ha ha! Ha ha! On chat. Uh, let's draw an extra card. Maximum about that doesn't help. I'm going to use Penny to get this out of the from the active. Put this onto you, then put another one down. Then I'm going to do 240, and just knock this out. Oh, yeah, I can do t 20 more damage with my uh basic Pokemon because I got two Moltreses. And if you put a third Moltres down and you're going to get, say, Roy Moon EX with a Ancient Booster Capsule. It hits the 290, which knocks out Roy Moon. It will actually knock out uh, Gaudian 5. It had an Ancient Booster Capsule on it. It will knock out uh, Oki's V-Star, Giratina V-Star, Lugia V-Star. What are the V-Stars? I think they're the most main V-Stars. And then you've got... If you put a uh, Maximum Belt on, which looks awesome, by the way... Uh, you can actually knock out a Charles RDX. So, yeah. Gouging Fire is just pure aggression, aggression, and more aggression. Now, I could use a Penny to pick up the Squawk. We're using Pennies because, one, uh, it's a great way of getting your Pokemon back out of the active. And, two, you can recycle Jet Energy. Um... Which is also cool as well. Okay, there's only one future Pokemon. So you've done 70 to me. Ow! That really hurt me. Alright, let's draw an extra. Alright, that's not working, is it? I don't know. So let me do it. Right, put you down. Oh no, you let me do it. Ugh. We don't need that anymore. Lovely. This is lovely. And, you know, having the two Entei's as well, being able to consistently hit, especially if there's a full board as well, which is really good. I mean, we're just eating through this person at the minute. And we've got Jet Energies. We pay four Jet Energies, uh, three or four Switch Carts, just so we can swap out the Gouging Fire, because uh, it can, when it does its main attack, it can't use that attack until it moves from the active to the bench and then to the active again. So that's why we use jets and switch cards. 
and we get to heal the damage from the Magna Basin uh, with the switch cart as well, which is also really cool. Right, this person is not doing well. No, no, no. Right, are you... What are you going to do? Because if I take any more, you won't do well. You'll start doing the numbers now. Watch. Right. Okay. Are you going to attach to... I think you've already attached to that. I own it. Oh, I had the jet in my hands. That's a real shame. Magna Basin and fire. Oh. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to put it on the end aid just so I can accelerate onto it. Next turn. And I'm going to fleet foot as well. Oh, a jet. Cool. That means I could just jet up whatever I want. And yeah, never punished. With this one. One more prize and your lords. And we didn't even need the Greninja as well in this. Wow. All right, this is going well. What's going on here? Oh. Ah, so I my cable for my um mic was sticking out. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. So I'm making sure my lip sync is right. Uh, one, two, three. Oh. He's finally done something and took two prizes. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. But, yeah, no. I don't even have to do anything. I just need to do this. 280 damage. Oh, yeah. Right. Gouging fire. Yes. Right, okay. We'll go to another match, and I'll see you then. See you then. Right, so let's see how we get on with this one. So we the second match, and we're starting off with Entei and Moltres. I've kind of... Simplified the deck. I thought it was it was, mm, and I wanted a little bit more umph, more turboing, more aggression, more just like go to town on everything. So I'm gonna thin out the deck a little bit before I do a fleet footed here, and see what I get for it. A penny. All right. So we're gonna put a fire energy there, and then leave the turn. Leave it. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, and uh, oh. Oh. so I, I got my Discord going on at the minute, so yeah, um, so storm in the calm, in the calm, hi. If you see this video, you know it's I was talking to you while I was recording it. Anyhow, um, yeah. Okay, so this is a mill deck, which is fine by me because I don't really mill my deck. And I don't actually eat through my deck at all. Not really. Only when I use Squawk and Seas, and I can't use that now, so there's no point. Um, 
Oh, so I can probably start putting Moltres up then. And just juice that Moltres up. Okay. You want to play like that? That's fine by me. And we'll get another Moltres down. And then I'm going to start uh, more Voss Vessels. Then I'm going to do... Okay, then I'm going to use a boss. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, and then I'm going to put a energy there. Then do 120. Oh. Maybe we should have just done... Yeah. Forcing them to have that there. Did they throw away a double turbo to retreat that? Not sure. I mean, I've got plenty of bosses, and I've got a penny if I need it. Um, so it's fine. Because this is why we've got pennies and switches. This is like a stall deck's nightmare, because we've got pennies, attackers. We've got single prize attackers. We've got all sorts of stuff. So they're going to do Asada for uh, one fighting energy to the Great Tusk, which means it doesn't need a double turbo. And... Okay, so. Mm. Oh, there goes my maximum belt. Thanks very much for that. Mm. Oh, well. Let's do Trekkie shoes. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Uh, do I want to? No, not really. Um, I've got more earthly vessels. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's get rid of some more. That's the last bit. Oh, blimey. Is that... I've priced that much energy. Wow. Okay. That's fine. So we can one situation. We can one shot this now. We can start just knocking stuff out. Um... I bet it's energy. No, it's gouging fire. I've, have I prized them all? I've got four of them. Well, I can punch this now. I'm going to start putting some energies around. I'm going to put another energy on the Moltres. I need to find my... Um, uh, Magna Beta. That's it. I knew it was going to come to me. Yeah. I have prized loads of energy, I think. There's three there. Three there. Six. Seven. So two more. I've prized two energies, I think. Because we're playing nine fire. The rest are jets. So lots of jetting. Um, Heroes Cape. And then... That's just annoying, isn't it? Are you just being annoying? Right, so you just power pad them back in. <laughs> so look, fire energy and a magna basin. It's everything I want. Okay. Uh, so we are doing at the minute with Entei. Uh, so that's 200. Uh, so 180, 160. That's not enough, is it? It's not enough. We'll do a start there. Find something. Yes. Uh, we'll get these down. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do here?
I'm just going to leave it. I think I don't think I'm going to win this. He's going to mill me before I can do anything. And that 240 is a little bit of a nightmarish, to be honest. I need Magna Basin down just so I can start putting stuff across and stop eating into my deck. Okay, conceal cards. Let's see what they got, what they got, what they got. Sada. And draw three. So we're at the same amount of cards in hand. I just want them to bench one more Pokemon. Well, actually, no, two more Pokemon. If they bench two more Pokemon, we're good. Uh, Okay, so. Hmm. Let's do this. Right. We have to take... If he does four, four, four. He's got four turns. Three? Four turns. No. Three turns. If he doesn't bench a two double prizer, we're stuck. I'm pretty sure he uses a two, a two prizer. I think he had a Pidgey up somewhere. Uh, did he have a Pidgey up? He has got a Pidgey up. V. But if he benches it, it could help me. He can get rid of the Nest Ball and the Earthly Vessel if he wants. Oh, that's another four cards. Which will put me at 12. Then I draw. Then it puts me at 11. Okay. Oh, you're well annoyed, ain't ya? You're annoying. Oh, I need an Iona. And I don't think I put... And I didn't put any in here. And now you're going to counter catch... Uh, the Moltres? Ah. That actually helps me out, to be honest. Because then I just have to jet it up. So... Yeah. Actually, no, I could just penny it up. Right. Um... Earthly Vessel, no. Ultra Ball, no. Kill this, yes. Right. Can I kill enough of these so that they can't do it anymore? So I could put this fire energy on. The Moltres. But the more I knock out, the less I can do it with Entei. Unfortunately. Another mill. 444. Four, four. Can I knock him out in time? I don't know. What are we going to do? Yeah. That also helps me out. 
and he's going to put more great tusks in. I need my Magna Basin, but I think I've probably discarded all. No, why? Where are they all? I've got four in the deck. You're telling me they're all at the bottom of the deck? Oh, no, there's some. There's one. Awesome. Okay. Uh, we're going to put a Magna Basin on uh, you. And then we are going to... Right. Uh, what is it? Every Pokemon on the bench. So, all right, if I have five, that's ten. It's 160. It is enough. Okay, so if I bench a Gouge of Fire and then jet up this Entei, we can do 200. Nice. Right. Right, we got rid of the... Oh, we'll go off with the artisans. Get buggered. It's a good thing I've got so many jets. And you still got it. How many of them have you got? How many energies do you use as well? Blimey. Oh. Oh. You git. I want that. I wanted that. You've played the side now, so you can mill four. Uh, if I don't do it this turn, I've lost pretty much. So we are going to switch cart into you. Then we're going to do just attack. Can we do it in time? This is clutch. If he's got the energy and a support card, how many support cards? One, two, th oh, he's still got one. He's still got three in the deck. And I've lost. I'm going to keep it in there just because you can see it. And I will see you in the next one. See you then. All right, so it's Charizard. And I'm going, well, I'm going against the Charizard Pidgey Art by the looks of it. Uh, from Because they've, they've Milligans. Uh, I've got a Tricky Shoes, a Sada, and a Bravery Charm. I'm going second. So if I can get a Fire Energy in the discard. Two Fire Energies in the discard. <laughs> I could turn one attack because I have a Magna Basin. Oh, Squawk. I'll have that. Awesome. Awesomes, awesomes, awesomes. She's using a Victini. Ooh. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. It's a weird one to put on. I mean, they've got shiny Pidgeys. And we've got a Charmander. Ooh. With a Gelgin Fire gouge upon the Charizard. No, oh, that's a Charizard EX. But no Charmander. <gasps> you didn't. You did. Okay. Yes, I'll take that. Uh, I'm going to put one on that. I'm going to put you down there. Then I am going to squawk and seize. I didn't want to get rid of the penny, but I'm going to have to. So I can make plays. Okay. Uh, we can do Magna Basin. 
onto you. Then jet you up. I have got a boss, but I don't want to kill that yet. So we're just going to do... Oh, I'm just shy of knocking it out. Oh! Really? Oh, was that shy of it? That's a shame. Oh, yeah, because I ain't got my second Moltres. I need two of these to be doing 80. Uh, yeah. All right. So you draw, you shuffle what number of your hands, and then you add one. Have you got a Charmander? I don't see it. Now that could do discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon, which can, yeah, do that, which is cool. That's cool. Right, okay, so we can go bomb. Okay. Uh, we're going to go Magna Basin. Okay. Stop this out. And then we'll go for Pidgey's next. Maybe I should have gone for the Pidgey first. I'm not too sure actually. Maybe I should have just but yeah, I should have bossed it up. It'll be two Charmanders. Guarantee it's going to be two Charmanders, because that's what I would go for. Just in case we knock one of them out, and we are going to knock one of them out. But, oh, Moltres. Uh, and we're going to put an energy here. Uh, and we're just going to knock it out. Right, we've got a jet as well. If they put the Pidgey up front, they get the Pidgey up. But they haven't. And their draw is not very good. Because our Magna Basin helps us just cancel the attack. Now, they're looking for basic Pokemon. So that's going to be more Charmanders and a Manaphy. So they're just going to go full-on Charmanders at the minute. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so you put damage on him. I want this Pidgey. And I want some energy on this Moltres now. Um, just keep knocking this out. So without the Pidgeys, they can't really do a lot. So they've lost all the Pidgey Arts. So there's no Pidgey art, so they can't just search and whatever they want. They have to top draw it now. And they're not doing too well here. They've got the Manaphy. They've got four Charmanders. But they're just pro they've probably got a Charizard or Rare Candy, but no Charizard or Rare Candy. They've probably got one and the other. Uh, they're probably looking for an Arvin as well, which you should be using about four of them. This, I don't know what this is. Why, why are you using this? That doesn't make any difference. 
Uh, I think that's a jet energy, isn't it? Yes, it is a jet energy. Okay, uh, we've got a Maltese conviction. So we're going to get rid of... Gouging fire. There we go. Okay, and then we can get... A bit of one of these. Get this going. Then we can get you down. Draw some more cards. Then Magna Basin onto you. Jet onto you. And then do wow well, two hundred and twenty, but it's it's still good. It's still good. Right, more energy, great. So we can we're literally like one card attached to the gouging fire, and if they knock out the Moltres, we could just magna basin onto a gouging fire. Um, we've got plenty of outs here. They are doing really bad at the minute. They're just not getting anything they want now. This is like the worst, worst hand pop possibly for this person. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, there we go. Nice. Heat tackle. And he still concedes. All right. So I think. I will leave it there, and yeah, don't forget to hit all them funny buttons. Thank you for viewing, and yeah, and see you on the next one. See you then.